Hey guys, here playing Max, and this is one that we saw at Worlds with Apocalypse in it. It's very exciting. So we'll see what happens. It's gonna be, uh, gonna be a party. Well, I can't really resist amping down that probable Adonis. Team sponsorship, yeah, get rid of that stuff. No one likes that. Breaker Bay Grid, no one likes that either. Eli 1.0, bleh. That's pretty annoying for us. I'll tell the present. Lose a siphon to the max ability. Do have three same old things. We can deja vu it if we think we can get in here. Mm -hmm. We can deja DDoS siphon if we really want to. Don't really want to. how yeah. So we're looking for some second ice out here. Let's find one, put some in the R and D. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably about that time to just use Deja Vu to siphon him. So now we're going to have 30 credits. Let's see what we can do with that. No breakers yet. I got the retrieval run, so maybe we'll be able to get a fam or something. This keyhole. Eh, probably not great yet. We don't want to hit an architect because he's got the breaker bay and the sponsorship, which are both super annoying. Mm, not what I'm looking for at all. Really not what I'm looking for. Can drop the keyhole, and it's super obvious that I'm going to keyhole him. That was silly. Well, he's spending money. The EDOS is less good when there's multiple ice on the server anyway, so I gotta deal with the innermost one. We're having a hard time finding anything in the way of Eater or Basic Breakers or the Fem. Well, Queen's Game only works on the remote, so this is probably a Chrysium or something. Or an Ash. Oh, it's probably an Ash. I 
Well, I'm sure you're gonna Queen's Gambit that one. I bet he threw away an agenda already. Let's see if he's gonna use his Jackson. Baker it, yeah, he's probably got some campaigns he wants. Hmm. Oh, well, let's get the eater online. Keyhole's tough against this kind of deck because they have the food and there's not very many points for you to steal. Jamming the agenda. That's exciting. Ten bucks, is that enough? For him to defend that? Hmm. there either. Interesting. So we're going to get to actually access. That's cool. Enigma. Yeah, I don't want to have that. <laughs> He's realized what is happening. Uh... <laughs> the moment of realization is always fantastic. That all the things are going away. Presumably there's a food in there, along with a Caprice. And then there's a lot of ice that he doesn't have anymore. Oh boy, does he have Jackson? That's maybe can salvage it. And that's a big maybe. Plus three. Hmm. Well, can we keyhole through this? Probably not. I mean, this is whatever random ice, but it's probably good enough. We get a fen now, but I. Hmm. Is the fen good? It's pretty expensive. Just let's face check this. He probably doesn't have that many good ice. This is probably something like Eli or something. Oh geez, that's a toll booth. Alright. Well in that case. Oh. An APD, Swattership, or Jackson. Actually, the Jackson is the one to trash here. Because his out is, is more or less to find another Jackson before we brutally keyhole him. Now we're going to find out if this ice is three or less. 
conveniently for him it is. All right, let's get a keyhole hit. Architect Adonis Eve. Bleh. It's not what we want at all. So what do we got left in our heap? We still got another same old thing. Huh. I'm gonna play this daily cast. See if he wants to spend his turn trashing it. Probably the answer to that is no. Yeah, it's no. Oh, well, you don't want to spend four. Hmm. I think we want to go in and check before he gets a Jackson. Pick up a food, and let's see what we got in here. our plan with this wanton I guess we can let's see what this is with three bucks can't be that much it's probably like an adonis or something it is an adonis I can't even res it I'm gonna actually leave that because I want to play this liberated and drain it next turn Let's kill the daily cast. Setting him back, not letting him res his Adonis this turn either. Kind of unfortunate for him. Need some suckers or something here because this is still four bucks to go through, which I don't want to pay. Uh, I guess we'll levy next turn. I don't really want any of these cards. I'm not really sure what to do the second pass through the deck because we don't really want to Apocalypse now. Because then we'd lose our Fam and our Keyhole, which are fairly expensive to replace. I think he's still completely in this game. Make a save Queen's Gambit. Uh, this is presumably an Eve campaign? I mean, I guess that's why he would be... putting it out to avoid getting siphoned and losing money that way. Well, that's pretty good. Well, I've got a Yogg, so we can go in there later. Kind of ran that in the wrong click. Imps. Let's see if they show up for us. Well, they sure don't. Let's see what this is. Team sponsorship, maybe? Or it's another Eve. It's a sponsorship. Hmm. Actually, that's the siphon's good this turn then.
I mean, that said, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through this stuff. This is pretty expensive. I don't want to wait for the amp to come up and let that tick down. Maybe we'll just go for a... Hmm, we can keyhole click through the Eli. It's not terrible. You maybe can just run HQ a bunch of times. He probably has an agenda or or two in there. Let's see what's in front. It's another architect. Ugh, worst case. <laughs> they're all indestructible. We don't even hit an agenda, we just hit a Jackson. Ugh, not even that good with its sponsorship. You can get it back. So we're stuck spending even more money we don't have to remove this sponsorship. We're getting the imp out. We're just purging it. We can't play the imp right now, I don't think. Hmm. Like actually this mimic is pretty good. Apocalypse, I don't think is good. Retrieval run, probably okay. Yeah, it's cheaper than getting our breaker out the hard way. the boat in this wanton. You just keep him from getting this down, so we'll, we'll imp the sponsorship. He's gonna be able to stabilize if he just buttons up every turn and clicks for money. I'm gonna run out of gas. I just want like a Christian. I just need to de these architects. The fact that they don't go away like really helped him. NAPD going out now, and we don't get a yog. Not much good actually at all. I mean, we can expensively keyhole. Problem is, if he has a third sponsorship, and that's like a beta test, he can advance, advance, and still sponsorship. And you can get his Jackson back, and then he's back in business. get a yog it's pretty good let's see if we can get a yog nope I'm sure it's caprice in there anyway man these wontons suck I don't even like these at all well
I want the David. Uh, no, we don't want anything. I'm getting wrecked by Architect. Should have just day job this turn, actually. Are you a Yogg? You're not. Let's see if he wants to delay his turn to trash this. Probably doesn't. Should we just one on next turn? Try to knock out the rest of his hand. I need this retrieval run, I think. Yeah. Still no luck in the Yogg. Got the Eater, which we can't access anything with, which makes it not very good. Yeah, I think we just watch him go. Let's see what he's got now. The sponsorship, advance, advance. Nice, that's exactly what I thought he was gonna do. Oh yeah, he's in good shape now. Gets back Jackson, Jackson gets Jackson, and we are screwed. Oh, he gets an ice. Why did he get an ice? Uh, nothing. Well, let's just see what this is. If it's crazy and we're in really bad shape. Uh, Ichi. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Once again, overpay horrifically with this fem. Which is even better than the mimic after all. Let's access HQ, pick up a Vitruvius, cool. Destroy the Caprice. Makes sense. I think I better kill this. Yeah. Now let's get rid of our. Is Apocalypse still on the table? Not with two architects, right? I don't think two architects. So you know what this is? Could be Caprice. And the Yog is still hanging in there. Same old thing as knife doesn't do anything. Well, it does not do anything. We just need to have broken the Eli, which I don't think we can really do. 15 cards. He's probably got another one in here. I'm going to expensively run here on the idea that he's got another agenda. If we had suckers, we'd be in so much better shape. We'd be saving two bucks a run in that. So much better shape. Mm. 
Hmm. I don't know if the Ogs gonna be good this game. Maybe we want just to get Mimic so we can run with Keyhole. No, I don't think it's gonna be good at all. Let's see if he wants to trash this. It's almost like a delaying action with this stuff because he can't afford to. He's gonna trash it though. He just really wants to get the siphon out of the way. He knows we've got a finite number of siphons. Eater makes only three to go through this. Still expensive. Yogg is still not there, so the remote is looking bad. All right, let's keyhole. Well, he can't res that one. Any PD Adonis Turing, I guess any PD. Then we can. Try the eater. Probably. But maybe the siphon's no good. He, may, he, might, he may not, might not let us. That's an ash. It won't do anything, right? Let me see for influence. Four, six. Is that the very last card of the deck is Yogg? I don't know what that is. That's going to be good. Right now, not so much. So I'm back on zero. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Yogg. <laughs> Retrieval run. One with the fan to bypass. Trash that and acquire the yog. Ding. I need to go here and kill whatever this is, Caprice or something. Ooh, static. Fair. I think you're putting on zero, but if it's Caprice, you can hardly bid anyway. I don't think he's got two Caprice, huh? Well, he could. We haven't seen much in the way of influence. Anyway, if we do go in, he can still pre res it. Uh, maybe we should overwrite our fem? I don't know. Overwrite our keyhole?
That's fairly... Meh, I don't know. Let's see if we can win on Keyhole. Not playing console in here is weird. I think we want to find a slot for a console. Is this a Caprice? No, it's not a Caprice. I think it's just a complete bluff. And there we go. If this is not something that's going to recur for him, we're going to at long last have went through this game. Talk about doing it the hard way. Whew. So, yeah, I'm used tight in this deck. We can make a few changes, but overall, the DDU S siphon thing is fun. The Apocalypse is fun the first time. But we need some way to turn these face down before we Apocalypse so that they don't uh, stick around the second time. Thanks for watching, guys.